and John Turner was not too impressed with the Cobra as a combat maneuver. The big problem that I have, and, and most of the combat pilots that I've spoken to feel the same way, is that they're wonderful effects for an air show, but they don't do much for you in combat. People used to say the same thing about the Harrier, though, didn't they? Wonderful air show aeroplane, they said, but not well, much good when you get it out in the real that's, world. That, that's true as well. And if you look at the Harrier VIF maneuver, which was, when it was first introduced, thought to be that absolutely was a wonderful. in forward flight. That's right, yeah. where he uses his nozzles just to, to slow his aircraft down and make it go stationary, effectively, in the air. Well, that, I mean, I've flown in a Phantom against someone doing that. That was horrifying the first time you saw it. The second time, you just shot him out of the sky because you knew where he was going to be for the next two minutes. So, so the it, act, it actually makes the combat pilot predictable. And the one thing you don't want to do in a modern combat is to let the enemy know what it is you're going to do next. The, the Cobra maneuver actually is, is not a problem for, for the weapon system that we carry in this aircraft. And indeed, it's not a problem for most weapon systems nowadays. During Farnborough Week 1996, the Russians threw down a challenge. Mikhail Simonov said that here at Farnborough, we can take on any American pilot and we'd be happy to perform an actual dogfight. Well, certainly under the right circumstances, you'd like to, to have that challenge and to go up again. Uh, it would be an interesting fight. Need to say Wow.